AI news today, we've got a bunch of fun ones for you. It's just never old. Uh, I like to talk about actual applications of AI, and I think it's really interesting to see them in a medical setting because those are really high stakes. You have to get them right. Mayo Clinic has published two different use cases for AI recently that I wanted to call out. One is developing an AI model for automated radiology workflows, which I'm not super surprised by because there's been a lot of anecdotal reporting of how good large language models are at reading X-ray images. And so what they've done is they've used it to uh, build report generation into the X-ray workflow. They're using it for tube and line placement for evaluation, which is super interesting. Um, and they're looking at change detection in chest X-rays, which fits right in with the anecdotes. But there's a difference here, right? Like it's one thing to have like some bro on X say, you know, I got this X-ray looked at and look at what Grok did or look at what ChatGPT did. It's another to have Mayo Clinic say, this is good enough that we're actually gonna build it in. And so I think that's a moment. The other thing they're working on is they're working with Azure on combining human genome data with Mayo's exome data sets. And they're basically looking at how can they build a reference sort of perfect human genome. And I know that like that sounds like the start of a sci-fi movie. So we're just going to pass over that part. Um, but they're looking to build essentially a reference data set around the human genome with Azure that they can then use when they look at genome variants to build personalized medicine. That one, the details are somewhat sketchy on. I could not tell you exactly how they are using AI to scale personalization, except that in general, the compute for personalization has been really difficult to do. And AI is often able to figure out personalized relationships faster because a lot of what underneath the hood is going on is transformers are, are running these comparisons between tokens and building token relationships might be what's happening. That's speculation. Uh, I'll be curious to learn more about what they're doing with their genomic foundation model. Number three, Hailuo is doing uh, a model. Hailuo is a Chinese model maker. They're, they introduced their Minimax model. It's a 4 million token context window. So it's quite large and it has perfect recall. This is now the second long context window perfect recall feature that I have seen in the last two days. And there's a third one that I'm going to mention now, which is the chat GPT in beta for some users is now rolling out advanced. Um, how do I want to put it advanced memory? It's not clear if advanced memory means it remembers better or if it remembers more but it's happening. And so to me, like when I look at these different bullet points, the Hilua Minimax model that came out, the work that's been done on Titans at Google, and now this release by ChatGPT, I think that we're seeing the dotted lines toward one of the themes for 2025, which is solving the memory problem. Um, I would expect a lot more releases along those lines in the next couple of months. Number four, uh, you probably know this, uh, but I think it's worth calling out because it's another actual launch at scale. Reddit has gotten LLM search to be good enough that they feel good about launching Reddit Answers, which is an AI powered search tool. It provides curated conversational insights from Reddit's discussions. What's interesting to me is Reddit chose to take their time with this one. Like they could have been like Google. Google rushed their uh, AI summaries to market. They got panned for it. Reddit took their time. And it makes me wonder if the Reddit AI answers is actually gonna be a higher quality experience for users versus Google because they took the time on the quality. So I'd be curious for your thoughts there. Last but not least, we have what I would call the rumor mill. Um, so there's three things that are being rumored to be produced by OpenAI or shipped by OpenAI by January 30th. One is the O3 model, which they've announced but not released. One is the ever elusive Project Orion. No one really knows what that is. Some people thinks that, think that's GPT-5, which would be a new pre-trained class of language model bigger than GPT-4, uh, but that's speculation at this point. Um, and then the third thing that people think they're going to release is something farther on agents. So not just scheduled tasks, 
but um, an entire class of agent that we think they will call operators. It's speculation. We're not sure of the date. It's rumor. That's why I stuck it at the end. But it's worth keeping an eye on as we get close to the end of January. All right. That's what we got for AI News. Let me know what you think. Cheers.